hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rana. I hope that you guys enjoy this uh, video that I have for you guys on the setup of my Louis Vuitton MM agenda. And if you do happen to enjoy this video, I hope that uh, you will consider subscribing. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is my Louis Vuitton MM agenda. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, know that I am a minimalist planner, so you won't be you won't be seeing a lot of deco in this planner for that reason. Um, another reason being that Louis is pretty stuffed, so even if I wanted to add anything um, extra in here, unfortunately, there's just no more space. Okay, so on the left hand side, I have a planner card from Cloth and Paper, and I will actually link everything um, in the description box below, all the planner shops that I mentioned. Uh, I have a sticky note from Cloth and Paper. Okay, a dashboard from Cloth and Paper, some sticky notes from Cloth and Paper. Uh, this vellum dashboard is from May Paper Co. This dashboard is from Cloth and Paper. This is my inbox, so this is where I would jot down um, anything that uh, you know I needed to action later on. I would just write it down here. And these appointment cards are from Cloth and Paper. Of course, now with everything happening, um, with appointments being canceled, I haven't um, been reaching for these uh, cards at the moment. So all my dividers are from Sesa V. Uh, they're made of thin plastic so that they don't bulk up my planner. That's what I love about them. And all my cover pages are from my friend uh, Stacy, who is uh, Loose Leaf Plans on Instagram. I love how she has quotes uh, for me on the bottom as well. So uh, my to-do list, it's a running to-do list for my son, for my daughter, for my car, uh, one for Add to Planner, and these inserts are from um, Peanuts Planner Co. My routines insert is from Infinite Lotus. And these are monthly recurring tasks. And this insert is from Peanuts Planner Co. Okay, next is my calendar section. This vellum dashboard is from Cloth and Paper. Yearly overview is from Cloth and Paper. This is a freebie for my friend Jazz, who's her digital corner on Instagram. Okay, and then I have my monthly routine and my weekly reflection. Now, again, with um, not having any more appointments, I have recently switched over to a month on one page, um, seeing that I don't need the, um, you know, I don't need that extra space anymore. So these uh, month on one page inserts are from Infinite Lotus, and I keep three months worth on hand. Okay, this tab dashboard this tab today dashboard is from cloth and paper and now that the kids are home from school I do um, have a daily schedule that we stick to otherwise uh, things tend to get a little chaotic around here um, I also do have my habits tracker which I have written down on a sticky note um, that's from peanuts planner co I have also switched over to using a, a week on one page and this is from Infinite Lotus as well. Okay, next is my project section. Okay, and I do have this 52-week uh, organized home challenge. And what I love about this is every week uh, there's something for you to organize around the house. And by the end of the year, your house would be uh, completely organized. Of course, I have not been doing a good job with keeping up to date with that one, but um, definitely recommend it. I just Googled it off of um, Google. Okay, next is my personal section. Life lessons insert is from EO Edits. Books to read. A book log. So after I finish reading the book, I give it a rating vehicle maintenance log. Okay, then you get to my social section. And uh, this is where um, I use this section for social media. So for YouTube uh, video ideas, any collaborations that I might have happening with some planner shops, uh, design team um, information goes here as well, or any PR information. So I do do some PR for some shops. So that would just go in that section. Next is my goals section. 
So my word of the year is thrive. And this goals insert is from EO Edits. These are my goals for the year. And what I love about this is that there is a review that you can do at the end of the month to see how well you're um, keeping up with your goals. Next section is my wellness section. So I have mentioned this before, this is the largest section in my planner. Um, that is because wellness is my top priority and has been since last year. Okay, I have this freebie here from EO Edits. My morning routine, evening routine, gratitude journal. Uh, what I also have is I've tabbed um, for myself and my son and my daughter uh, a family medical information sheet so that uh, you know if I'm at the hospital if there's an emergency or anything like that I can just flip over to you know what medications we're taking what illnesses we have and then I have that information um, ready to go okay I also have uh, I'm using this insert here from Simply Trendy Co. And what I'm doing is uh, writing down all the illnesses that I have. So I write down the illness, action plan, any medications that I'm taking, and any notes um, that I need to write down. And then I have the symptoms tracker uh, to follow. And again, I do that for all my illnesses. I do also have, and this is something new as well, is I have tabs at the top that um, are for the health professionals that I see. And I've also made cover pages as well so that when I go to visit the health professional, I can just flip over to that section and I'm ready to go. And one thing that uh, I do when I go see these health professionals is I ask them to email me any um, documents or inserts or anything like that so that when I get home, I can just resize um, that document and print it off and stick it in my planner. Next is my finance section. And this is a freebie from Lex. Got my financial goals. Um, and every paycheck, I have a certain amount of money that I transfer to accounts. Um, I use the month on two pages from Infinite Lotus to track anything that's uh, coming into our account or that gets uh, withdrawn from our account. I also list our expenses here so that when I do my budgeting, I know how much money um, you know, I'm taking out from every paycheck. I also have a to buy insert and that's just a running um, list of anything that we need to buy so that uh, when we get paid, I know, um, you know how much money I need for that specific item. Okay, and then I have my list section. So this seasonal bucket list insert is from EO Edits. And this list to keep on hand is a freebie from Vienna Ortiz. Got some date night ideas, kids activities, a wish list, and a gift list. Okay, and next this home section is basically my kids section. This is a customized uh, dashboard from EO Edits. And again, I have that family medical information sheet, which has their allergies, prescriptions, um, doctors names things like that uh, my kids action asthma action plan um, doctor visits health log medicine log uh, weight log and I use this um, fold out from peanuts planico to track when my kids are sick and why they might have missed school so my daughter's section is the same thing next I have the meal section and this is the nutrition planner insert from EO Edits, where I just track some of our favorite foods so that when I'm meal planning, it makes it easier. So we're not eating the same thing all the time. <laughs> um, last is the notes section, and I just have some um, blank paper from cloth and paper. Then here I have some stickers that I use from cloth and paper. Obviously, I need to place an order. For some more, I've got some page flags, and I love this card from May Paper Co. Progress, not perfection. Uh, definitely a good reminder. Um, then I've got some stickers that I use in this plastic folder, and this folder is from May Paper Co. And these are some of the stickers that I use from um, the planner spot, cloth and paper. Okay, and then I have a page lifter, and this is from Poi and Hun. 
Okay, and I use, uh, this is basically from a notepad from cloth and paper. It's a four by six uh, notepad that I just um, took this out and I put them in the back in case I need to jot anything down when I'm on the go. Got some stickers from cloth and paper. And then lastly, I use this quick dry um, pen from Sissa V. Unfortunately, she doesn't sell this pen anymore though. Um, so I don't know where I would have to get um, a new one. <laughs> so if you have any recommendations on a pen, definitely let me know. I do like quick dry, so, and of course it has to fit in this pen hole. So that's kind of my own, my only restriction. But, um, so yeah, that is my setup. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have some suggestions on some videos you would like to see from me, let me know in the description below. And um, hope you guys take care of yourselves and uh, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.